Auto Obsessed here. Today we're going to introduce the Obsessed Paint Seal Final Protectant from the Obsessed product lineup. The Obsessed products were created in consultation with Auto Obsessed to meet some specific criteria. We were looking for a paint sealant that had some phenomenal looks, something that was very easy to use, something that's got some great durability, and something that absolutely stands out. Some of the tools you need to use the Obsessed Paint Seal Final Protection you need an, a wax applicator, something soft that isn't going to mar the surface. You need a selection of towels to buff off the residue. Now let's take a look at a quick product demonstration. We have the vehicle prepared and now we're ready for our last step product. The Obsessed Paint Seal Final Protectant. So for this one, all you need is a soft foam applicator. Choose something that's not going to mar the surface. Something also that fits comfortably in your hand. First stage, just simply shake the product well to make sure it's mixed properly. We're just going to apply a little bit of the product to the applicator. Some of the key points here would be on the application, we're going to go in straight back and forth motions. Another thing too that people make a lot of mistakes is they apply way too much product. We're just going to apply a thin layer of product to ensure that we're evenly, evenly covering the surface. We don't want a lot of build up. We're just going to start out, we're just going to go on our straight back and forth motions, make sure we've got even coverage on everything. In our experience, we have no issues with the temperature and the humidity that we work with where we can do the whole vehicle and then come back and then take it off once it's hazed. While this uh, little demonstration is hazing, we'll just talk about some of the benefits and maybe some of the things that you should be aware of when applying a sealant. Um, for example, you want to stay away from black trim, any, any edges, um, trim, it, 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 any, any sealant or wax can potentially whiten that and, and it might be difficult to take out. If you do happen to hit the trim, just have a, a microfiber, dampened microfiber and try to take it off immediately. Um, another tip, uh, if we're going up against clear film for example or some sort of uh, line or edge, just go up to it. Don't, don't go over it because you're going to have a buildup of product there and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to take off later. Some of the benefits of having a sealant, one of the obvious ones is it's going to give you a, a great brilliant shine, which is what everybody wants. But some of the features of that, uh, having a nice sealant on the car, are um, maintenance. So one of the biggest things people don't understand when they put a protection on the car is how much the maintenance changes. So for example, you've got a slick coating on the vehicle, water, dirt, mud, bird droppings, bugs, um, any sort of contamination is going to wash off a lot easier. And as a result, that's also going to help prevent some damage. So wax and sealants do provide just a hair of a coating so that in itself doesn't really prevent scratches but what I'm getting at is having a protection on there that makes the dirt come off easier, makes the bugs come off easier, maybe does a little bit of protection against uh, uh, bird droppings etc. It just makes it easier for you to wash, you're applying less pressure, maybe you're washing it less often so at an end result you're gonna, your paint's going to remain better longer. Um, now the, the sealant has got pretty close to a haze. I usually just do a quick check, just, just lightly draw my finger across. It's still smearing just a little bit. Just for demonstration purposes, we'll just talk about the removal of, of the sealant now. So once you have the areas covered that you wanted to cover, or if you're doing maybe just the hood, or you are gonna do the full vehicle, um, to remove it, it's a, a pretty straightforward process. We like to use a, a high grade microfiber towel, silk edged, something that has a, a, a little bit of thickness to it uh, to, to at least allow the pickup of the product. There's many, many different grades of microfibers and uh, if, if you use the wrong type, you could also put some damage in. So we like to use uh, a towel in quarters. This gives us uh, a clean surface eight times. So essentially we would use it flat handed, we're going to use one quarter. Once that uh, area is used we're going to flip it over and then we have eight sides. Then we're going to um, now, now put that one to laundry, we're going to get a new towel. So you're going to need a few towels to do a full vehicle. Um, so starting out with, it's still, it's pretty close. Uh, essentially what we're going to do, just flat handed, 
and we're just going to take off the remaining wax residue. I'm going to flip it over and continue on until we have everything off and that's what you're going to do through the full the full vehicle till it's completed. Thank you for watching.